Hey everyone, this is the chapter number 21 of pathology which is bones, joints and soft tissue tumors. So first of all, we are going to look at the bone. Okay, so what is the basic structure of the bone and what is the function of the bone? Let us see. So the function of the bone is to provide the mechanical support to a body. Then the transmission of the forces which are generated by the muscles and it also provides the protection of the viscera right as you know that the important organs are being surrounded by the bones for example your heart is surrounded by the ribs your brain is covered by what by the skull right and your spinal cord is surrounded by the vertebra okay so it is also providing so these bones are providing protection to your viscera they are maintaining the mineral homeostasis they are providing a niche for the production of the blood cells okay so in the bone marrow you know we have the process going on which is known as hematopoiesis in which you know that the red blood cells white blood cells and various other blood cells are formed okay then what are the constituents of the bone as you know that the bone is made up of the extracellular matrix and there are some specialized cells which are responsible for the production and for the maintenance of the matrix so first of all what is matrix so the bone matrix is composed of organic component which is known as osteoid it is 35 percent then we have mineral contents in which we have calcium phosphate and various other minerals so it constitutes about 65 percent okay then in the bones we have different types of cells right we have osteocytes that are laying down the bones we have osteoclast that are resorbing the bone and we have two other types of cells that are maintaining so these are the two types of cells that are maintaining the homeostasis okay we have the osteocytes and osteoclasts that are maintaining the homeostasis okay then the osteoid osteoid is basically a bone cell okay the cells of the bones and they are predominantly made up of the type 1 collagen okay as well as they also have some small amount of glucosaminoglycan okay and some other proteins so the osteocytes osteoids are made up of the type 1 collagen they have small amount of glycosaminoglycans and some other proteins right now what are the unique features of the bone so one of the unique feature of the bone is its hardness right and what is that thing which is imparting it the hardness that is the hydro uh, hydroxyapatite okay so this is the chemical formula of the hydroxyapatite so this is giving it the hardness okay then the bone matrix is synthesized in the two forms it can be woven or it can be lamellar so the first one is woven bone woven bone is uh, basically uh, you can say that it is a rapidly producing bone okay uh, so we can see the rapidly producing bone in the fetuses okay when they are being developed what is happening the bones are uh, getting developed very rapidly so the woven bones are present in the fetus as well as uh, you uh, you have seen that because of the injury or the fractures what happens is that the bone reforms itself it repairs itself so this repairing mechanism would also form the bone rapidly so the woven bone are present in the repair fractures in the or the fracture repairs as well but as you know that these collagens they are arranged so haphazardly that is why they do not impart the hardness to the bones right they cannot maintain the structural integrity too much okay so the bones would be less strong as compared to the lamellar bone okay the lamellar in the lamellar bone you know the the cells are so much close and they are arranged in the parallel fibers and that is how the bones get very strong okay and the adults okay if we talk about the adults in the adults the woven bone would be always abnormal okay because you know that the woven bones are not healthy they are not strong that is why they are present in the adults so it means that these woven bones are always abnormal okay then let's see how many types are there of the cells which are present in the bones so there are basically three types of major cells which are present in the bones we have osteoblast osteocytes and osteoclast okay so in the osteoblast if you talk about the osteoblast what happens uh, first of all we should know that the osteoblasts are present on the surface of the matrix they are present where they are present on the surface of the matrix and they their function is that they synthesize transport and assemble the bone matrix 
and they also regulate the mineralization. All right, they do what? They also maintain the mineralization of the bone. They are derived from the mesenchymal stem cells, and these mesenchymal stem cells are present where. If it is a developing bone, then they would be present under the periosteum. And if it is developed later in life, and later in life, these mesenchymal stem cells, they are present in the medullary space, okay? Medullary space is where uh, you can see if there, this is a typical long bone, then this would have a space in between, right, where the bone marrow is present. So that is a medullary space. And it is where the mesenchymal stem cells are present, okay? And these are now the two figures. Uh, in the first figure, you can see that this is a woven bone. You can see it is much more cellular and disorganized, right? You can see many spaces as well here. So it shows that the, uh, the woven bone is not much strong, okay? As compared to the lamellar bone, in which you can see no space and the cells are organized in so much organized manner, right? So the lamellar bone is responsible for the strength of the bone, right? Okay, so the next type of cell is the osteocytes and these osteocytes are Okay, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Actually, the wire was stuck somewhere and it was making the light constantly on and off, okay? So the second type of cells which we were discussing were the osteocytes and they are present within the bone, okay? And these cells suppose this is a cell and this is osteoclast, osteocyte, sorry, and this is the cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm protrudes out of these osteocytes and this forms, this is known as, this protruded cytoplasm is known as a canaliculi. Okay, and these cyt osteocytes, they use these canaliculi in order to become attached to the other osteocytes. Okay, and now what is the function of the osteocytes? So the osteocytes basically control the calcium and the phosphate levels and they detect the mechanical forces. So uh, you might have heard that whenever we do we perform the exercises, what happens is that the more is the force acting on the bone, the more is the mineral deposition into the bones, right? So you say that when we perform more exercises, when there is more force on the bone, so the bone becomes hard, right? So this is because of these osteocytes right which are doing what they are doing the mechanotransduction it is a process in which these cells would detect the uh, the forces that are acting on the bones and then in result of that force they would deposit the calcium and the phosphate into that bone okay so uh, they work by the mechanotransduction now what are these osteoclasts these osteoclasts first of all they are present on the surface of the bone okay and these are specialized macrophages. You know that uh, the monocytes are traveling in the circulation, right? And when these monocytes, when they get into the tissue, they got the specific, they get specific name according to the tissue in which they are present. So if the monocytes, they are, they are getting into the bone cells, then they are named as the osteoclast, okay? And these macrophages are multinucleated, right? They are, uh, and they are responsible for the bone resorption. They would resolve the bone, they would absorb or they would degrade the bone, okay? Then uh, how they perform this function, so basically these osteoclasts, they have the integrins on the surface of them, okay? And by the help of this integrin, they get attached to the surface of the matrix, right? And where they create a resorption pit, okay? So they form a gap, you can say, into the bone into the matrix, right, which is known as a resorption pit. And then into the resorption pit, these cells, they secrete what? They secrete two things. They secrete acid and they secrete the matrix metalloproteases, okay? And these two things, they are basically helping the bone to get resorbed. Now here are the two figures. In the first figure, you can see there are osteoblasts and they are doing what? They are synthesizing the bone matrix, right? And here in this diagram, what you can see, there are osteoclasts which are, which are present here and they are resorbing the bone, okay? Like this is an osteoclast, okay? These are the osteoclasts, they are doing what? They are resorbing the bone. Now let's come towards the development of the bone. Okay, we will discuss it in, in next video. Thank you.